Folks in Southern California and the Southwest are getting ready ahead of the torrential rain and strong damaging winds expected this weekend. For the first time ever, parts of California are now under a tropical storm watch. One thing that you do not see often at all, especially in the month of August, is to see an extreme threat for flash flooding. That's exactly what we're expecting as of the newest advisory for Hurricane Hillary to maintain hurricane status as it moves into San Diego, California as possibly a category one hurricane. Southern California is getting a hurricane? All right, so apparently there's a hurricane called Hillary off the coast of Mexico right now, and it's a category four hurricane. This is on the West Coast. We never see stuff like this where we are, and they are saying we can get up to eight inches of rain in our area. And if you guys have been with this channel for a while, you know that our windows on our house I don't know what's the problem, but we tried caulking all around the windows and we're still getting a leak in our walls. It could be the roof. We're not sure, but we're gonna have to do a lot of prepping this weekend because we could possibly have some major damage happen. And um, our plans this weekend just changed. I need to get this house ready for a big storm. Um, also, a few months ago, our backyard flooded and then um, we redid our backyard and made it look very nice. And now we are in danger of having another flood in our backyard. So this is just um, a lot of stuff happening, but we have a little bit of time to prepare. So that's what we're gonna be doing. Um, yeah, this is uh, gonna be interesting. And I keep getting phone calls. Another thing I'm worried about is we're supposed to have 60 mile an hour winds and we just put new palm trees in the backyard. So we will see if those things hold up. I don't know how long it takes for the roots to get you know, dug into the ground. So we're gonna have to keep an eye on that. I, I guess uh, we haven't had anything like this for at least 84 years or something. Um, this is just a really rare event. So it should be uh, pretty interesting. And Savannah has been busy yes. with school. This week was the first week of school and Savannah not only is pregnant, but she also has a really hurt knee and she has four kids. She's homeschooling now, which she's just the busiest she's ever been. And we want to thank you guys for recommending those little pregnancy drops. Yeah. Are you doing school? Oh, are those ice cream cones? Wow, that looks fun. Another thing I've been pretty busy with, um, in case you guys are interested, I've been doing a lot of car work on my Sequoia. Behind the tires, there are these things that are called ball joints, and they basically hold your wheel on your car. And at 100,000 miles on the Sequoia, um, the ball joints on this car failed. And what happens is, is the bottom of the wheel comes off and your car just falls forward. And I don't wanna make that same mistake. So just before I hit 200,000 miles, I replaced all four ball joints on both tires. If you have a Toyota Sequoia and yeah, you might want to look into getting your ball joints changed if you haven't done that yet. I also changed the spark plugs on my car. I was pulling out these spring coil things and there's like a lot of suction. So I was like pulling really hard and then it came off and then I cut my hand. It doesn't look bad now, but it was extremely deep. And what happened was, is I think it hit a nerve and I had this sharp pain run all the way down my arm and it was like, all the way down to my forearm and I was like moving my middle finger and I could just feel, I can actually see it moving down there. But I think I punctured or like hit my nerve. If it would have gotten any deeper, it would have been like really bad. So I'm, I'm glad it didn't get any worse, but it was kind of a scary little moment there. But everything seems to be working. Um, all these kids are doing school you're turning fractions into a whole number? Is that what you said? Yeah. There? Yeah, okay. That's very interesting. He's so smart. And how old are you? <laughs> two. What? You're not two. How old are you? Four. Yeah, good job. <laughs> looks like looks like Micah's doing art class right now. Wow. How are you liking that, Micah? Good. 
What are you uh, drawing here? A wasp. A wasp? Yeah. Let's see it. Wow. Are you glad you're back into school or do you wish it was still summertime? Why would I be glad? Oh, that's true. That's true. And it's in the car, so it's <laughs> Did you make that, Noah? No, Jyra. <laughs> oh, Jyra did. What kind of, what are you doing, Jyra? I'm oh my. Advanced arithmetic. Look advanced arithmetic? Yes. <laughs> wow, no big algebra deal. Algebra one. Algebra, algebra one? Wow. How old are you? I'm turning 14 next week. 14? All right, when I was 14, I was in pre-algebra. Just saying, you're doing you're doing pretty good. I feel like this year um, does feel a little different, being sick with pregnancy and having four kids to teach than four years ago when I was sick, having morning sickness. I only had two kids to teach, so I feel like it's just a little it's a little crazy right now. I'm not 100% like physically ready. Um, but hopefully my morning sickness starts easing up soon. Like I have been way more sick this pregnancy than I have the other five. Um, it could be because I'm older and you know, my body's just like exhausted and can't handle pregnancy as well when I was 19. Um, but yeah, hopefully I'll start feeling better soon and get back into, well not get back into, but start a really good um, school schedule. We're really nervous about our walls and our windows because earlier this year at the beginning in January we had oh, the heavy heavy rains and we had to rip open our walls and fix all the water damage, fix the floors and I temporary put in sheetrock. <coughs> Didn't seal it or paint it or anything because I knew I knew I was gonna have to fix it again because we didn't fix the leak. But we don't think it's the window anymore. We think it's the roof. So when the rain comes, we're going to rip open, or before the rain comes, we're gonna rip open the wall above the windows, take all the insulation out, open the wall from below, take all the insulation out, and see if we can see water coming in. So. Oh, look at that. What is that? Ooh, that's a centipede. Oh yeah. Yeah. I found it. Is it dead? Yeah. Anyways, uh, it's a lot. Um, but we'll see. We'll see how it goes and see if we can fix the rain problem. We're really worried about our backyard because we just got new palm trees and just put in our grass and it's gonna get so destroyed back there. Anyways, no way, say bye. Bye! So a little update before I post the vlog. It is Friday at 11.25 p.m. It's pretty late, I gotta get to bed. But I just wanna give you a little update on what the status is on Hurricane Hillary. Um, it sounds like it's gonna be getting in around 6 p.m. Um, on Sunday. And the winds are supposed to be around 65 miles an hour, which sounds really fast. I don't know if I've ever experienced that before. And yeah, so tomorrow I'm gonna be doing a lot of work on the house. We're gonna be getting sandbags, a lot of fun things. It sounds like in the mountains, they could be getting 10 inches of rain, which is ridiculous. That's kind of like what we get in a year around here. So um, a lot of water coming. So I will be back, Lord willing, next Saturday to update you guys um, to see the damage. All right, you guys, we'll see you next Saturday.